Hi, and welcome back to Bloxy. Today we're going to take a look at how to translate your website's contents with the popular WPML plugin. We've recently covered another plugin, but it's time to cover WPML as it is a very popular choice amongst WordPress users. First off, you will need to get the WPML plugin files and install them. You can easily do so by following the prompts inside your WPML account dashboard. Before we continue, we'd like to note a little tidbit here. Depending on your use case, you might need to install some additional WPML extenders for this. For example, translating WooCommerce products requires the WPML WooCommerce add-on. The basic WPML blog plan does not include these extenders, so if you know you'll need additional functionality, it might be required to update to a better WPML subscription. After you have installed the WPML required plugins on your website, it's time to register the plugin. You have two options here. You can either use the simple setup wizard by clicking configure WPML at the top of the plugins page or use the register button near the plugin controls. We are ready to start translating the website now. Following WPML's wizard, we are prompted to pick one or more languages which we will use for our translated website. I'll make my picks and click continue. On the next screen, you're asked to choose your URL setup. This is completely up to you and your server configuration. You might need to check with your hosting provider if you're planning to use multiple domains, for example. Next, we're asked how we'd like to translate our website. Two choices available here. Translate everything will automatically translate the content that you publish or update, while choosing translate some will let you manually translate each single part of your website. In our case, I'd like to do it automatically. We are asked if we would like to send diagnostic data to WPML's developers. This is completely optional and will not affect the usage of the plugin. If additional plugins are detected, you will be invited to install the WPML add-ons related to them. And we're done with the setup wizard. Since we've chosen automatic translation, all of our content should have been automatically translated. Let's quickly check the front end. And yep, it looks good. Now, even though we've initially chosen the automatic translation option, it doesn't mean that we cannot go in and manually tweak the translations. Simply go back to the WordPress dashboard, pages section, and click on the Edit Translation button for the relevant page. You will be thrown into the Advanced Translation Editor, which lets you easily view all the text and media files from your pages and posts and quickly act upon them. One more thing to take note of is that you can use the String Translation feature of WPML to quickly change things that aren't content per se. For example, you can translate the header elements contents using this feature. Things such as the site title, button labels, contact elements, contents, and more are available to be translated. These strings usually come from the theme and plugins that you have installed and have generated content on the front end. And before we get to the end, we'd like to remind you that for our premium package, we offer some handy multilingual tools. For example, we offer a super nice language switcher element for the header. Also, all of our conditional dialog boxes have a new condition available in relation to the current language displayed. So for example, you can create a different header for a secondary language compared to the main language header. Well, and that's pretty much it. Using WPML is a piece of cake and with its advanced translation editor, you can get up to speed in no time. As usual, if you have any questions, a suggestion, or you simply want to share something, feel free to drop by creativethemes.com. We'll be more than happy to guide you through. Until next time, take care.